Hi everyone, hope you're doing well and hope you enjoyed my first vlog. This time I thought I'd show you something different. I'd like to show you the process of practicing, rehearsing, and recording my original composition for cello and piano. I'm really excited about this project since not only has it been about two years since I did any sort of chamber music, but it's also the very first time I'm collaborating with an actual musician and performing my own piece. So I'm really, really looking forward to the result. I hope you enjoy watching this whole journey as well. I finished this piece, a Rhapsody for Cello and Piano, around the beginning of 2020. And at the time, the only tools I had to listen to what I wrote were the MIDI playbacks from the notation software MuseScore and the sheet plastic keyboard in my room. So I really didn't have much of an idea whether what I wrote for cello really worked on the cello. Nor did I know when, if ever, would I actually find a cellist who'd be willing to perform this piece with me. Later that year, I was promoting a live stream piano recital at Piedmont Piano Company in Oakland, and I posted an event in a Facebook group called Artists from Taiwan. I received a lot of likes and nice comments from my posts, and as I was shamelessly stalking the people who liked my post, I noticed one of them actually looked quite familiar. In fact, I realized this person, whose name was Zhou, was actually one of the music teachers who taught my high school orchestra back in Taiwan. And when I talked with her, I discovered we actually lived pretty near each other in the Bay Area. So earlier this year, I sent this piece to Zhou asking if she could take a look and see whether the cello part was doable. Fortunately, she said it was in general, albeit with some slightly awkward passage work that she'd have to practice. So months later, I finally asked whether she'd be interested in playing my piece, and thus began this project and this vlog. Of course, the first step to all this was actually learning my part, which admittedly I never really did despite actually writing all this. So I essentially started from scratch, writing down the fingerings, practicing with the metronome, and fixing some notes I realized didn't work as well as I thought. part a couple of times decided to change the tempo to something a little slower and more manageable probably just uh, accelerating until the moderato tempo <laughs> perhaps you can see why <laughs> to the cello teacher's house to rehearse the piece. What was originally on the notation software is finally going to be a reality, so I'm so excited! Hi there. So we're going to be trying our piece out. <laughs>
六分音符是，你要变慢吗？变成是你要变成四点零速度，还是跟前面一样？就是速度一样。So just to explain what Zoe was confused about, near the end I play the same five note pattern, and the tempo is generally the same. The difference is number of notes per beat. So initially there are five notes per beat, then four, then three, then two, and so on. In music theory, this effect is referred to as augmentation, which is literally augmenting or increasing the time of each note. So it gives this illusion that things are slowing down when, in fact, they're not. Yeah, it's pretty trippy, especially during the first listen. But I thought it was a pretty cool rhythmic effect. Okay. You did that, oh, is four point five. So here's an example of how listening to the notation software's playback too many times can go wrong. I totally forgot the fact that the cellist had to switch between different hand positions in order to switch from one note to the next. But I can do more. Let him do it a little bit. Okay, okay, yeah. But just that time, I found a way to get around it. Oh, okay. I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to play a little bit. 我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我
这样好像是，好像可以。因为其实你如果这一个，对这个你我听到我在拉那个，我就就没跟上。OK OK， 后面那个就没有问题。<笑> At this point, we were at a pretty good position to perform and record the piece. Now, since the piano at my house was pretty out of tune, I had to ask my piano teacher Betty whether she'd be willing to lend her studio for us, which she very graciously did. And so we decided that the upcoming Sunday afternoon would be a good time for us to finally bring this project into its final form. Setting up. <laughs> Our setup consisted of a cell phone tripod with ring lights, Yeti blue stereo mic, and two laptops. One to connect to the mic and record the audio, and the other to provide power for the ring lights. Trying to put everything in the right place in a relatively small room, including the big cello, was kind of a challenge, but we managed to squeeze everything and make it work. Of course, we had to do several takes before coming up with something that we both were satisfied with. It took about five or six takes, along with some practice runs and some false starts. But fortunately, this piece was pretty short; it was under four minutes, so it didn't take too long for us to recover before we tried the next take. We are finished. After two hours of recording, we are finally done. I'm so happy that this day has finally come. After that, we'll just be combining the audio and video, which, compared to this, is not the toughest task. So, we are almost there. We are on the last stretch. I'm so excited to share this. So tonight I came home. I did some basic editing to sync up the audio and video, and then uploaded the video on YouTube. And my God, has the response been incredible? In just one day, that video became the most viewed out of everything I'd had in my channel for the past two to three years. I was so excited. I even started documenting screenshots of the analytics page, as you can see here. I know a couple hundred views really isn't much in the general YouTube world, but to me, it means so much to have that support from each and every one of you. So thank you all so much. I do hope that I can upload more performances and compositions onto this channel, and I will continue to strive to share the best music I can make for you all.